Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. If you didn't already know, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I'm going bohemian today. So I did this beautiful half up, half down vibe. You guys seen I did the cute little Instagram style baby hair. And this one did come courtesy of Gorgeous Hair. We love this company here on YouTube and I love, love, love the holographic theme that they go with. But for right now, this is the star of the show. She is a gorgeous gorgeous bohemian texture lace front wig we are working with hd lace so i did decide to do like a half up half down just to give it a vibe i wanted a little bit of the frizz because i just feel like that just looks more natural on me i'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures in this one because i just look so cute and i'm ready to post on the gram and show them what style i did today i've been doing that a lot lately on the gram so make sure you are following me there my name is ashley b deck i hope you guys are Feeling it. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. We are on the road to 300k on this channel. I don't know, I'm so giggly today. I'm such in such a great mood. But let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, ladies, this is our beauty here. She is Wave Runner, a 13 by 4 HD lace wig. This is the inside construction of the cap. It does come with an elastic band and a free part. So you can do deep side parts. You can do half up, half downs, which is what we're going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig. And this is what she looks like on. Here is a look at the sides as well as the hairline. She did come pre-plucked and you can definitely do a little bit more if you'd like. This is what she looks like from the back. I believe I did not mention she is 26 inches in length and I'm loving the bohemian texture. This is what she looks like set as a center part. I definitely would love it in this way as well as like the no like parting flip over method. You guys already seen in the intro we're going to go with the half up half down but I just was kind of like at this point trying to decide what we were going to do. So here I am cutting off the excess lace around the ears. It's important that you do this because this is what's going to make the wig fit your head like a glove. Um, as you guys can see, the lace covers my ears. So you definitely don't want to install and style your wig and the lace is still covering your ear. Just really doesn't make sense. So if you need to, you can get help doing this step. But it's honestly really super, super, super easy. And I've done it many a time showing you guys really, really slow. Maybe I can do it again for you guys soon. Here I am opening up the hairline again. As I mentioned, this one is pre-plucked, but again, I like to just go in and like, I don't know if this makes sense, but like when it's pre-plucked, it's still like a very neat pre-pluck and my hairline is not like neat or uniform. So I used to go in there and just thin it out a little bit more. This is what the hair looks like combed out. As you guys can see, it's nice and beautiful. This is one of my favorite textures lately. I love, love, love the Bohemian. Here I am bonding the wig down and I'm going for an easy install so I just applied the product. This is from Eben and it is a like an adhesive and then I just kind of like work it in with the lace, comb the hair forward so that it doesn't get like wrinkled or you know like frizzy underneath the melt belt. I applied the melt belt on top and while that dries I'm just going to go ahead and work on the ends. So because this is like a wavy texture, I decided to go with some mousse. So we're doing water and this is a 360 spray bottle from my company, bdagbeauty.com. And I just get the hair nice and saturated. And once I get it to my desired wetness, we're going to go in with the mousse and just apply a generous amount. And then I'm just combing it in. I could have used the Damon brush, but I just kind of allowed it to do like its own natural thing. I did work in sections because of course I had a little bit more time since I had to wait for the... Um, um, hairline to finish bonding down and here I am doing that top portion with the same steps just h2o get it damp and then add the product a lot of the times I'll do like just the product with no water and I love the way that usually will come out but sometimes you just want to just you know be efficient and save your product so I put on some music and just chilled until this dried. You can definitely blow dry on a cool setting, which I did at the very end. And now that it's completely dry, so let's just remove the excess lace. I am using an eyebrow razor to complete this step. You can definitely use scissors. Use what you already have, um, you know, unless you want these. I bought a bulk of these maybe two or three years ago. And you guys seen that bulk of it, like the jar of them at the old house, like what, two, three years ago. And I still have plenty more to go. So it's definitely really cool um to work or to buy them in bulk now i'm going in and working on the hairline i did opt for instagram baby hair on this one so as i've been mentioning to you guys i've been figuring out ways to do this and it's a few more steps but it's very very like 
efficient and that it always works. I find the baby hair that I want and section it out, cut it to the length I like. Um, I will sometimes do like the wispy baby hair and I will curl the hair. Um, once it's curled, I will apply a little bit of edge control to the base, um, shape it how I want it, and then go in with the even, put that on top a little bit at the base, and then really drive that um, comb through and get it to the shape I like and set it with the blow dryer. Now that sounds like a lot, but like, have you ever spent a lot of time on baby hair for no reason at all? It's super quick when I do it this way and it's a lot more of a no-brainer situation. And I don't know, it just comes out perfect for me in this way. Don't forget to tweeze yours out if it's a little bit too thick for you. This could have been tweezed out and thinned out, but it just gave more of what like the Instagram baby hair, the Instagram baddies, Instagram models, um, what their hair looks like. It looks a lot more full when you see others do it. And so I kind of was going for that. Natural, naturally, I do want to thin it out a little bit, but again, it just works. Also, you could definitely do sideburns with this one. I chose not to. You guys already know how I am. It's just so much easier to not do sideburns because when I get up at 7, 8, you know, in the morning, I really don't want to be bonding sideburns down. It's just so much easier to put this wig on without sideburns. And so I went ahead and cleaned up the hairline by using the Dynamic Duo wax, wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. And you guys can see the look is completely coming together. I was able to like hot comb the hairline and it still has that wavy texture. Now I'm going in and just blending the hairline with my skin. I did use the... Um, foundation and I'll have that linked in the description box. Okay, I am bumping, but I'm going to go ahead and turn my AirPods off against my better judgment. I want to listen to music, but I must talk to the girls and let you guys know an update. So I went ahead and did the hair. Um of course, this is what the hair looks like at the end of the day. I've lay down, rolled over, played with kids, unboxed PR, and just did a million things today, ran errands, and sorry, trying to pay bills, but um, this is what the hair looks like. So I kind of wanted to do a half up, half down. You can see lace here. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This is why I love a good deep part. Okay, so this part is super easy. I really just pulled it up. I can kind of get away with not doing a neat ponytail because the hair is like that wavy bohemian, uh, you know, boho vibe. But it came out super bomb, right? So this one here comes from Gorgeous. And um, you guys already know Gorgeous hair is the bomb. I've been seeing them a lot. A lot a lot this week on the tube so I think all the girls are hip to the fact that they have like the bomb hair um but you guys already know those are my peeps and I've been working with them for a minute so I'm glad y'all catch it on um but anyways this one is wave runner it's a 13 by 4 HD lace bohemian style wig in the length 26 inches I have done um one of these last month so make sure you check out that video as well bohemian style wigs are characterized by soft flowing curls that exude a relaxed and laid back vibe which is exactly my vibe um I love this texture and I love it like when it's wet but I also love it even more like when it's dry and a little bit like fluffy and frizzy like now also I've been taking a little bit more time on my installs you guys know I always do like this type of baby hair but it's giving more of an Instagram vibe lately and it's like I'm doing the same exact thing that I've been doing but I've just been taking my time and doing it a little bit more precise and I'm finally getting the baby hair to look like the Instagram girls let's go ahead and look at the product and the packaging so as I mentioned this one is from gorgeous hair and this is the box um, I love the holographic as always this is the dust bag for our unit so make sure that no matter what you keep this for your unit also inside you have some um tan wig caps and you can just add your powder or the foundations that i just showed you to make it match your complexion Ooh. and then here is this holographic pouch and inside you do have an elastic band you have a mini pack of clips keep these these are great for your purse um your, your makeup bag um and then an edge brush you can even keep them in, like in your desk at work your backpack all of the above and then they gave me um what is this a pair of tweezers and then also this pink and this blue clip my daughter's gonna steal these from me dakota's gonna want these i already know so i'm gonna stash these for her be sure to check it out a direct link is in the description box including 
all the details on this wig as well as lists and links of everything we use to complete this look. I'm Ashley and I'm just grateful that you're here with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!